basically seven years ago when he first moved to Singapore within the first month that he moved at a dinner. The big dinner at El Lido. An actor showed up with, um, with two other guys actually. I was sure like one of them was, must be her boyfriend. I was actually not in any mood to, to have anyone. At one point the tuna tartar came and, and, and she was like, would you like some? And to me it just looked like diced tomatoes, you know? And he's like, I don't eat tomatoes. So I was like, it's not tomato, it's, it's tuna. And he's like, I don't eat fish. Forever it will be known as, you know, tuna tartar gate. I was, you know, I was like, who is this boy? Where has he come from? And, um, but he had a very good, bubbly, friendly personality. Hector, as you and most people here know, I'm not one for PDA, so I was quite nervous about writing these vows. Nearly seven years ago, I arrived in the little red dot and met a little brown girl. Little did I know then that accepting that job in Singapore would be one of the best decisions I ever made as it brought you into my life. I knew you were the perfect girl for me very early and I can honestly say the day you agreed to marry me was the happiest day of my life. I fell in love with you for many reasons, but today I want to tell you why I choose you to be my wife. I love you with everything I have for many reasons, and you will find these out in the Director's Cut Extended Edition of these vows, but above all because the joys of life are multiplied when I am sharing them with you. Even in the bad times, having you by my side doesn't make them feel so bad anymore. Quite simply put, I cannot imagine my life without you. I'm not sure what the future holds, but I know I'm excited to tackle them with you as my wife. It feels like, like just yesterday, when you began saying, I'm gonna cry when you get married. Dinesh may become my husband today, but you will always be the first dude I ever loved. Your first baby, Ekta. Janesh, these past four and a half years together have been such fun. There is always laughter, support, understanding, honesty, silliness and lots of chocolate between us. You continuously bring out the best in me and remind me that it is never worth getting annoyed or upset over petty things. Thank you for being you, for showing me how to have a grateful spirit and for radiating your positive vibes and energy, you are my brightest light. On this beautiful evening, surrounded by friends and family, I promise to give you the best of myself and ask of you no more than you can give. I promise to create a warm and comfortable sanctuary we call home, a place that you will always look forward to being in. I promise to come support and watch your football games, to give you your space when you need it, to keep the laughter going and to comfort you in times of need, even when you tear up during a soppy movie. Most of all, through joys or sorrows, sunshine or rain, I promise to always love you. We liked him from the first time we met him, so, you know, he's a really nice boy, very down to earth, very sensible, good sense of humor, so we got to know him really well, so we know that Ikta and him will be happy together. It's such a pleasure to see so many friends and family. We are really honored to have all of you here. We are all gathered here, of course, as we all know, for Ikta and Janesha's wedding celebrations. I'd like each and every one of you to hang loose, enjoy yourself, introduce yourself. At the end of three days, I'd like all of you to know each other on a personal name basis, because at the end of the after all, it's, it's a marriage of two families. It's not just Ekta and Janesha's wedding. It's all of our friends and family who have mattered to us. We'd like you, all of you, to know each other 
and that would be our our greatest blessing thank you very much <laughs>